Hello everyone, I'm Fiji Guitar Hero back and welcome to another video. And you may be wondering what the hell I'm playing right here. But all I'm, what I'm playing is the is one of my childhood games uh, I played when I was very young. Around the same time as I played Age of Empires, which speaking of which that series isn't dead. No, I'm, I'm still gonna continue it. It's just I'm currently on hiatus right now because I need to record a part really in it that I don't actually suck in and fail at. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're gonna do that to say the least. But, yeah, in the meantime, I'll be running another, a second let's play of this game Looney Tunes Sheepdog and Wolf. And my brother also introduced me to it, um, just as he introduced me to The Age of Empires. So, anyways, we'll get on with this let's play. We'll choose English. And we'll let it load. And I've I tried to record uh, this before. However, um, well, let me see the uh, that one where it's surrounding in red, where it has like the snowy area in five, uh, the far left picture. And that's the my like the practice um, world thing. The second one is what I was trying to record last time. I tried to record this, but I had the audio levels wrong, and the music and background sound was too loud. Uh, and my voice was too quiet, so yeah, not the best thing to be having in the recordings, because so, you can barely hear me other then. But anyways, we'll just overwrite, and there we go. And I'll shut up the intro as well. Dog and Wolf Show, or as I like to call it, Who Wants to Be a Sheep Stealer? Listen, bub, all you gotta do is relax and play the game. I gotta use this gig to catapult me to superstardom. Now, the aim of our game is simple, to steal sheep. So 
so after that quite long intro, we're presented with a flyby of our first level, which is just the tutorial level. So, um, as I mentioned, this game is also available for the PlayStation 1. However, its graphics are crappier than this. Plus, I like this one better because it has more cell shaded and more Wind Waker graphics. More, more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker looking graphics. Attention, the extended use of this game can drive even the most serious people crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you sure you want to play this game? Now, you have to be sure that you play this game, otherwise... Yeah, that'll happen. So... Next slide. We want you! To start, across the white line. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Damn you, Roadrunner! Oh well, that's it. That's the LP. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that didn't work too well. Doesn't look like Follow it. Follow really. me, and I'll explain a few commands. First things first. How to use the camera. I'm just using the camera by pressing the A and S keys. That's A for left and R, S for right. I'm right behind you. Just use the camera buttons to move the camera. <laughs> uh, it's kinda weird, um, crappy editing with the, uh, the Sounds quite what it was called, but if you that doesn't find matter. Me, it's still good game. The inside view button pressed down. That's the shift button with the normal controls. So, uh, so anyways, control options, and configuration, wolf, wolf side view, and okay, apparently that no. There, there we are. Down. Okay, got it right. So, wolf side view is shift. So, I'll hold down shift, and it goes into like first person view. So, then Daffy Duck's up there. Nice going, bub. Thank you. These commands will come in handy if you want to look around. <sighs> yeah. If you want to follow me. And who wouldn't? <laughs> use the jump button <laughs> and just do you. what I'm really. doing. So now we're gonna follow him, and it's up, down, left, right, or you can change it to like WASD or whatever you like, and then space if the jump. If you wanna jump always. higher, press the button a second time when you are at the highest point of your jump. Works like a charm. So, yeah, as he said, double jump. Press again in the air to do the double jump. And over here, <laughs> uh, might I also suggest you use the jump button to take a flying leap? Yeah, you just double jump there. Or you, I think you might be able to single jump, but I don't know. Yet. Whoa, what was that? Okay. <laughs> Random boulder. That that happens a lot in this tutorial level, just so you know. Hey, how about a little race? How about no? You wanna know how to win? After that, when you cross the starting line, enough. you'll get a limited amount of time to finish the race. To do this, press steadily on the run button Which to increase Zed. your speed. Uh, default. If you run fast enough, you'll be able to stay suspended in midair for a short period of time. This will come in handy to get over precipices. <laughs> Fancy word for cliff. Yeah. Uh, and the voice actors aren't actually that bad, so yeah. Now, yeah, it's Z pressed steadily to sprint, to like so. Just basically, in other words, spam it as, as fast as you can, or not as fast as you can, but um, I don't know exactly how fast, but about maybe three keystrokes per second. And damn you, Roadrunner! Why must you be faster than me all the time? Yeah, and I bet all you Looney Tunes fanatics out there will know this reference. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the sunset. Oh, yeah, that reference. Where <laughs> Wally well, Coyote is the nineteen, the first episode they they, they, they debuted in. Uh, Wally Coyote debuted in. I knew you 
can do it. You'll probably be able to challenge Road Runner later in the game if you're up for it. Oh my God! Spoilers. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, it is spoilers, but yeah, because you do actually race him in the game. And there's that boulder again. To help you steal sheep from Sam Sheepdog, you will be given several objects. But wait, there's more. You also gotta know how to use objects in the background. Uh -huh. To open the gate, the red button has to be pressed. Just jump on the first seesaw, and the big rock will throw you to the other side. Then, jump on the second seesaw to launch the little rock towards the button so that the gate remains open. Yeah. Confused yet? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, makes everyone laugh like that, <laughs> basically. Oh, look at that. And make sure you do not jump short like I did and fail at it or anything like that. There we go. And then the boulder jumps you up, which that type of logic sort of makes sense. Not really, because I mean, I mean, especially this logic doesn't make sense. I mean, you'd think that would just make the rock propel back like that, but instead it goes like that. So, not very realistic, but hey, it actually manages to get you through the level. Let's go here. Listen, if you want to get sheep and make a plan, you have to use your inventory. First, press the inventory button, which will F12 show you the by level's default. map and the objects available to you. To get an object, you have to order it by opening a letterbox. If you want to know in which letterbox you have to order a specific object, Select it in your inventory, and a red circle will appear around the litter box, which means it's yours. The objects drawn in white are the ones you can find in the level. The colored objects are those you already collected and can use. And if that's not enough, you can also look at the object's user guide for instructions on how to use it. So come on, try out your inventory and order an object from a litter box. Today, batteries not included. Damn it! Every corporation never does that, really. I would say that damn boulder again. I swear it's gonna hit me one of those days. Not really. But now we're gonna see what uh, Ralph Wolf. And yes, it's Ralph Wolf, not Wally Coyote. Wally Coyote has a black nose. Ralph Wolf, which is Wally Coyote's brother, has a red nose. But anyways, we'll see his karate chopping skills. What the? I have no idea what I went that at. <laughs> uh, now, um, there's one option. There's one thing in the game that Daffy Duck does never include in this tutorial thing. Holding down the Alt key, which is Alt by default, to open up your quick inventory without having to press F12. And then choose your item and then go over to here. Because you can either do that and then put it away again oh, wait that doesn't put it away okay um or you could hold down alt and press left and let go of alt and there we go instantly so yeah we can't talk to him so might as well go up so count down in three two one go yeah so it's gonna take a leisurely fly over death canyon here and <laughs> oh god Ralph Wolf is like it's completely necessary to flap your arms like if you're a bird while you're flying a rocket. And by the way, you can also split uh, you can also speed up flying by holding Z, which is the, uh, the same key as your sprint button, your um, running. So go over here. However that drains battery faster around the same rate as normal. Okay, so press X. And there you go. Hey, 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 good for you! Don't forget that to finish each level, you must be in the goal with the sheep. In fact, you have to both be in the goal, or the challenge doesn't count. And that would be despicable. <laughs> yeah. So, click that. And then, yeah, uh, I love how the sheep looks, it's just like a big puff of wool and a face. Yeah. 
And there we go. And there's the goal. And we are done with the tutorial level. Now, with all cutscenes, I'm most likely going to uh, stop talking so that you can hear what Daffy Duck will be saying. But, I don't know, because eventually it gets kind of annoying. You'll see the place to which you must bring back the sheep you have stolen. The counter will also indicate the number of sheep you still have to steal. Uh huh. As if that wasn't completely obvious. By climbing onto this stand, went you down. can save the game by following the instructions given. Yeah, it's just the same thing as he said. If you're exceptionally bright, like yours truly, as if you discover a time clock in each level, activate it as and win a bonus not. point. Then you can come here and buy stuff, depending on the number of bonus points you've collected, of course. Obviously. And that's where you can choose levels. All you have to do is activate a door to enter the corresponding level. It's up to you now. Okay, so, yeah, as you said over there, there's where you, there, that 7 segment display at the top where there's a sheep and then the 16. As if that wasn't obvious, that shows how much sheep you have to, how many sheep you have to left to steal from the sheepdog. So, anyways, let's go into here, and the only thing I don't like about this game is the camera angles. Because sometimes it'll like put the camera angle right behind the wall, and sometimes it'll spaz out if I can get it to spaz out here. Um, okay, it's not wanting to. Screw that. So, here's level one. Uh, I hope you can't see any flashing on the screen, because... If you can, then, um, yeah, that might cause some seizures. But, yeah, that was just me um, turning off the volume. So, yeah. And there's that be again. I'm back! <laughs> Listen, if you don't want to be seen by Sam Sheepdog, here's some free advice. First, when you see this icon appear, yeah. it means that you are close to Sam's area. The icon helps you see where Sam is looking. If it's in front of you, it means that Sam is looking in your direction. When the icon is green, it means that you are close to Sam's area, but the good news is, he can't see or hear you. When the icon is orange, it means yeah. that you're in Sam's area, so be, be quiet. quiet and everything will be okay. When the icon is red, it means you're in big trouble, pal. <laughs> Cause Sam saw ya, and you'd better get out. When I was younger, Your I kept getting called by Sam. Press the stealth button. If Control by default. Sam will hear you when you enter his area. Okay, so um, when you hold down control, yeah. Even though in if that's if that like uh, harp sound appear, appear played in real life when you were sneaking, uh, some toes, whatever. Then that wouldn't be really sneaky because everyone would hear you and it, it wouldn't be stealthy at all. So, yeah. So this game is similar to Metal Gear Solid even though I've never actually played that. I've heard people say that it's like sneaking around enemies and stuff like that. So, yeah. I don't have all the games that everyone else plays or anything like that. I? Yeah, that's what I was meaning by bad camera angles. And I hope this is... I hope you can actually hear my voice properly because I turned down the settings and it seemed to be alright when I tested it, but anyways, time clock activating you wouldn't go this point. That's as Duffy Duck said. But let's go back in here. And better camera angle at least. So we'll go over here and then parkour over here again. Or we can just jump down into the toxic waste or whatever is down there. <laughs> and yeah, Batman reference. So, um, but let's see respawn back here. So, and also, one good thing about this game, you have infinite lives. That's the best part about this game, is that you can die as many times as you want, and it doesn't matter because you'll just respawn. Instantly. So, what do we have here? Dynamite! Yeah, I, I bet most of you figured that out. If you use a dynamite, you can get another one here. So, um... You can either blow up Daffy Duck, which he doesn't actually blow into pieces or anything, he just gets like smoke covering him, and then 
it stops you from playing like for six and a half seconds, even though he says it's for one minute, uh, which is kind of sarcastic. Because I watched another someone else's let's play that they haven't finished yet. Um, Luckiest three, I think was his name. I can't remember. But the actual use for dynamite is just to blow up these loose rocks and stuff like that. So. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. and then there's a goal over there. You can see that. So, what does this sign say? Watch out, dangerous bitch, one person at a time. So, we're over here. So I'm rush you like that. And we got Farmer Porky here. Oh, Hi, I'm a Farmer Porky. I hear you're trying to uh, steal Shams. Uh, sh uh, sh uh, sh uh, <laughs> Sounds like a rapper. <laughs> Good luck. I grow all kinds of uh, uh, vegetables, and I know Sam sheep as like well. A... Uh, uh, for instance, like I know rapper. you can uh, lead a sheep if you show it some uh, 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 lettuce. <laughs> if you do this, uh, you, you won't have to uh, carry them. Uh, come back with your sheep. And I'll show you how to use the leafy vegetables. <laughs> Good save there. So, yeah. So now we're getting into the Metal Gear Solid aspect of this game, which is the sneaking around. But this first one is really easy, so I'll get close. And you see there's that green symbol there. And this one's really easy, but you just have to make sure that you keep sneaking. Make sure of that. Because once you head to the orange area, like I am in right now, if you don't sneak, then he will hear you. That sheepdog over there, that's like... Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. And I know he's half deaf, so he can't hear... Um, he can't hear something louder than something he can hear. Which is kind of weird, if you ask me. So, yeah, once you're in the green area, you can stop sneaking, so it's alright. So, yeah. We, we got a sheep. It hey, will go over to... I'm um, Hawkey again. Land the sheep automatically. What did you get those? You managed to take those this sheep from the steroids. block. Well done. In it now. I'll show you how to use the lettuce intelligently. I call me unintelligent. It's Sam's sheep. You love it. All you have to do is leave some next to its sheep. It'll go toward it all on its own. I love it. How he's impatient. Be careful not to place your lettuce too far away, or it won't be able to see it. It, it, to know whether you're uh, close enough before it, uh, putting the letters down, it's to uh, check whether this icon is uh, 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 displayed. You can also place uh, 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 bits of lettuce all along the uh, path. Uh, uh, the sheep will move from a uh, uh, bit to a uh, uh, bit, uh, uh, but don't place them too uh, uh, far apart. Otherwise, uh, uh, the sheep may uh, uh, stop on the way. Uh, so, uh, 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 don't forget to check for this icon before uh, uh, placing any lettuce. <laughs> It'll tell you uh, whether it's close enough. Uh, 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 does any of that uh, make sense? <laughs> Are you uh, uh, following me? Uh, 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 do you get it? Because I uh, uh, don't. <laughs> well, yeah. Best pick up the sheep and then move it somewhere else so he doesn't hoggle the lettuce. Although it does respawn, but that's besides the point, so, yeah. So he gets eight lettuce here, or leafy vegetables. It's like, <laughs> leafy vegetables. Vegetables, what? <laughs> Apparently I can't pronounce probably, so just keep that sheep there. Get the lettuce out. And then, no, you don't want the, you don't want the sheep to follow you. So when I get closer, that icon at the bottom left will appear. And that'll mean that the sheep, when it jumped up, he saw the lettuce. So, yeah, so now place the lettuce here. And when the icon gets red, you can just see it, but it'll still work, so... Oh, there. There. And there. And now, we'll put away the lettuce, and then go back over here. And we actually, just in case, sound options. Turn that down. Turn that down. Okay. There you go. And now we'll place lettuce over here. And we got the sheep's attention. So actually Oh get rid of that lettuce. And then grab the sheep. And then what we need to do is put the sheep camera angles. There we go. Put the sheep over there and run! Like a pussy! Because you don't want to be on the bridge at the same time as the sheep. Because, as this sign says, 
dangerous bridge one person at a time. So yeah, if there's if you're holding the sheep, then yeah, you fall into death death valley down there or death canyon, whatever you like to call it. Yeah, so there we go. So we can take the lettuce. Ha! I took your lettuce. There we go. So now I can go take the sheep over here. And then coming up after this is one of my favorite levels, and I hope my mic isn't distorting. It sounds like it is. So now we have 15 sheep left. There's another door open to the second level. Now, I will say that I probably aren't, am not going to get all of the bonus clocks first time or anything like that. I, I think that might be a bit too quiet of a voice. Yeah. Oh, didn't even save. I know I'm probably being annoying doing this, but whatever. Yeah, actually. So sadly, you can't spin in here. Um... You can only sneak and there's no inventory or actually there is the thing but you can't open your in, uh, large inventory either so anyways over here is the second level and this is my one of my favorite levels coming up because it's in also in the trial version but also because of the epic music I mean come on listen to that guitar work you can't tell me that's not epic Go. Yeah. So now we'll take this out of place mailbox and what the it to get a fan. Well, we need a fan. Anyways, we'll just push this out of place boulder. Seriously, go home, boulder. You're drunk. <laughs> and then take this fan. And why would we need a fan? Well, I don't know because it's Ac it's Looney Tunes. Actually, I do know, but I'm not gonna say it yet. So, anyways, we'll go up to Daffy Duck and see what he has to say. Yeah, maybe. I don't think he'd eat the bush because he's a carnivore, I mean, seriously. Why else would he be chasing sheep? But, do you want to practice? Might as well. Why does he keep calling him that? But anyways, yeah, go over here. And jump into the bush. No standing in the line. And then wait a moment. There we go. Okay. So now, we just have to hold control, and you'll move like this. So now, exit. And now we have that orange meter, but with Daffy Duck in it instead. So stop moving. Now move. Stop moving. Oh, come on. I had that. Okay, let's just go back. So, there you go. And yeah. Stop! He's like, Hua! He's like, Stop! Have a time! Already. So, okay, so now we'll go out here, and this is where Sam's area is, as you can see there. And he's turning his head quite fast, so now I just need to be Metal Gear Solid about this. Like, 
there. So yeah, you just have to make sure that you go by without being noticed. Hey, stop. Uh, stop. Go. Stop. I like how he can't even notice ears and stuff pointing outside. It's like, that's the most obvious thing about it. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, it's Looney Tunes logic. Yeah. Let's put this bush in the corner, I guess. So, we jump up here and here. And then we have more leafy vegetables. Uh, leafy vegetables, I mean. I bet it's going to be my catchphrase for this Let's Play. <laughs> I don't know. But. What the? I bet that was really out of sync. I don't know. But. We have a perfume bottle. Why a perfume bottle? I don't know. Because it's Looney Tunes. Again, I do know, but I'm not going to tell you yet. So, yeah. So, up here, we're going to first get the bonus clock. And it's one of the easy ones to get. If you just launch the big lock, jump on the other side of the sea, so from this height to put it back in place. We'll get to that later. That's to launch the sheep into the goal behind that you probably saw. So, now I'll push this even more out of place, Rock. Seriously. I'm, I mean it. Go home, Boulder. You're drunk. Thank you. So... We'll jump down, and you can either go back up if you accidentally went down, and I didn't mean to go there, because, yeah, if you go in there, you're going to get eaten by a piranha, so, best not go in that way. We'll go here, and go over here, and then, let me jump down here instead, so it's easier, so you can also see our shadow, so... We know where we're landing, where we're landing, so go over here. And then there's the time clock right there. I like the sound for it, but I'm not sure if you can hear it because the sounds I have set kinda uh, quiet, I guess you could say. So anyways we'll go up here. Whoa, why did I do that? Oh anyway, it doesn't matter because it besides I spawned back here. But anyways, now we've got the time clock. Now, uh, here's where we put our stuff to use. And, let's see. Let's read up about it. Let us know about Fan. Fan moves everyone, spreads smells around. The Fan can propel a small boat. The spread smells around is kind of a hint to what we have to do. So, back. And, by the way, this thing here, I learned from a uh, another, another person's Let's Play. And that's basically um, to combine objects, like say if you combine a fishing rod and a magnet, which we actually do in a laser level, in like one of the last levels, um, that will create a fishing rod with a magnet on the end, obviously. But anyways, now I'll go over here, there's a sheepdog, and we'll place the perfume down and we'll see the smell thing, yeah. So now, go over here. And I bet you probably never guessed. I, I bet you, you may have guessed how to actually get a sheep. Blow the air around. So yeah. And see, we only got a sheep. I love how the same sheepdog isn't uh, isn't inclined to try and stop the sheep or anything or he's just too dumb to notice I don't know but yeah this sign here it says sheep are not very smart but they are very curious so if you put a sheep close to a button he won't be able to resist the urge to push on it so yeah so basically what we want to do is just put a sheep on there it'll move more into place but that doesn't matter so we'll go over here if we can oh well so we'll go over here, and then we'll grab some lettuce that we got, and then put it on this ledge here. And, yep, it'll work. And up down here, and then move the sheep off the button, and let it go down. And also, yeah, you can sneak with the sheep, as you might have noticed before. But then we'll put the sheep on here, and then you... Without, there you go. Put a sheep on there, and then quickly get onto the button, so that the sheep doesn't get the urge to... Seriously, ledge! You're really annoying! That ledge just pushed the sheep off. Ah, come on. 
sit down. I said sit down. Not there. Oh my god. There you go. Got it. Oh, this better not push it off. Good. There you go. Now I can jump off. In fact, I'm gonna do this. No. Uh, apparently you can actually block it with your head, so yeah. So you can jump up there. Ah! No, 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 no. And go over here. Put the sheep right there. And what we're gonna do is use this even more out of place boulder over here. I thought I told you to go home because you're drunk. There we go. Uh, although it's not really out of place, but whatever. Actually, it kind of is. Ah, whatever. So, go yeah, back here. Skip that. 14 left. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, next episode we're going to be tackling level 3 or level 4, whatever, if you count the tutorial as level 1. But I count that as level 0. Yeah. But, yeah. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Legion Sheep, Dog and Wolf, or Sheep Raider, it's actually called in like the, oh, I can't remember, North America, European, I, I, can, I can't remember, I'm Australian, that's, <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you next time, PEACE! <laughs>